I want to address mainly one of the big arguments against that extra six hundred dollars uh, unemployment. Um, a lot of people have argued that it's a disincentive for workers to go out and find work. Here's the reality of what we're facing right now, not just in the restaurant industry, but in, in small businesses all over the country and in Kentucky. There isn't work to be had. Every restaurant owner I know is reopened in a skeleton staff kind of way. They've hired a fraction of their staff back. There simply isn't the work to go back to. The other thing that I'm seeing recently is every single day, uh, someone in the restaurant industry, friends of mine, people I know and respect, um, are closing because one of their employees will test positive for COVID. And then they have to shut their restaurant down for several days and then get everybody tested and reopen. Right now, it is not safe for workers to go back to work from a health perspective to put themselves in danger in front of the public every day for, you know, hourly rates. It is not sustainable for small businesses to stay open right now in the ways that they are. Nobody I know is making good money right now or coming anywhere close to what they're making. Um, everybody is getting by or losing money. So what we need right now is we need a way for small businesses to be closed, to be safe, to be able to pay their bills. And we need laid off workers to be able to pay their own bills and pay their rent. That $600 a week has been vital to keep people's lights on, to keep our economy going at any sort of rate. This reduction to 200 is going to hurt a lot of people. It's going to hurt business. It's not going to drive people back to work because, as I said, the, the work isn't out there. Um, the HEROES Act, which was going to extend the UI extra benefit of $600, to the end of January next year has been passed through the house for over two months and it's been sitting uh, dormant and, and not being looked at by the Senate. And we need that or we need something similar, but uh, I feel that the, the HEALS Act uh, doesn't come close to what we need for small businesses or for workers. Thank you.